What's up gamers? It's your boy see you 1019 here. Welcome back to the playthrough of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door the Danger Mario mission. So when we last stuff off we entered the great tree. Here we are. It's time to save the puny tribe. Hmm. Normally everybody's here. Where are they? He's calling for the elders, calling for anybody to listen. And this door opens and those don't look like punies to me. They look like some x knots They said, hey, it's Mario. We should knock him out. Even though Crump told us to to immediately, uh, we should uh, try and capture him anyway. Because then they'll get crumped. So they're going to attack us. All right, just, just so that I don't have to later, I'm going to swap out now for Gumbella. And Gumbella's going to tattle. Hmm. <coughs> Enemy combatant, the description stinks, you think I mean just a little level foot soldier. HP 4, attack 3, defense 0. Whoops! Did a little light on his feet. Man, they do hurt though. Hmm. Let's give our quick hammer a try, see what we can do. Wow, a little harder to time the super guard on that. Alrighty, halfway to another level up. So they're gonna go report to Lord Lord Crump and they're gonna lock the door. <coughs> Punio finds a puny that was hiding. It's huge. And we find uh, a small section of the puny tribe that was hiding. Tells, uh, Punio tells them that this is Maru and he's here to help. <coughs> and then Punipers here. Juniper kind of just doesn't believe. He tells Punio that uh, his sister's been cat, his sister, and I believe the elder's been captured. <coughs> and he also tells us that the Jabby tribe are on the side of. Uh, the, they aren't on the side of the punies, they're on the side of the x knots they're not certain why. Punio rallies to, to, uh, to combine strength, but Puniper ain't having it. <clears throat> Won't have it until we rescue the Elder. So now we're gonna, we're gonna go over here, we're gonna heal ourselves, and we're gonna take a quick save. who should be just a couple levels up. We have Gumbella out for some early tattles. Power Punch, that might come in handy. I'll get rid of the sheep here. And there's a couple other X-Knots to, to bash. 
we're gonna take advantage of beating them up for some, uh, for some experience. <clears throat> oh, look, it's a yucks. That doesn't help matters. Alright, we're gonna tattle the yucks. Alright. Um, I believe Goombella can tattle a mini yucks. Should probably do that. Yep. Alright, we're gonna knock out this mini yucks. That's alright, we don't need it anyway. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna let Mario knock out the mini yucks because Goombella right now can do more damage per hit than Mario can. There we go. Fire flower. Um, I think I can get rid of the honey syrup for right now. I don't necessarily need it. <clears throat> Ow! <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna let Goombella take out the first Yucks. We kind of just want these Yuxes gone immediately, or else they become a real pain. Uh, and I'm gonna power bounce the second one. Really good way to get some a lot of stylish points on that move. Get your kicks on Route Six to Six. Meanwhile, in the treasure hold, <clears throat> we got this one little Alexa out here guarding all the all the items. That appears to be the silhouette of Miss Mouse, who brutally just knocked out the guard. Guess we'll come into meeting her later. And here's the jail cell. Elders hung up, held up in, uh, in a red cell by herself. <laughs> rescuing is it? Well, thanks, I suppose. Those are quite exciting. I think you ought to help out the other punies before you rescue me. <coughs> Where are the others? Well, they appear to be right next to the elder. So, uh, unfortunately, we're gonna have to rescue the elder first. We can't rescue the rest of the punies until we get at least ten of them following us, and we need the elder's help to do that. So we're going to go into this hold here, and there's Ms. Mouse. Heard there were some nice badges to be found, so they came looking, running into more trouble. <laughs> Goombella calls her a floozy. Alright, she says goodbye. Kind of a pointless meeting. <clears throat> and the X not wakes up and then blames us for hitting him. We didn't hit him, but uh, we certainly will now. I'll just have a Kimbella do the dirty work, though. Bye. <laughs> Got the red key. Let's check out what else is in here. <clears throat> Miss Mouse left us an ultra shroom. How nice of her. Uh, we'll just knock out one of these mushrooms and we'll hold on to this. We'll hold on to this ultra shroom. Um, honestly, you know, it'll help for now. I'm not gonna really need those later. Um, you'll understand why. And we'll open the door for the elder. Foolish child. <clears throat> I 
<clears throat> and the Elder begins to yell at us, or yell at Pino for leaving everybody behind. Uh, the Elder's gonna ramble on for a couple hours. <laughs> And then, then the Elder asks, why are we here? We're here to rescue you. And the Elder will go all the way back down to the tree. Peony will take a second to tell Petunia that we'll be back. Alright, it's back down to the bottom of the tree. <coughs> I'm just going to take a few shortcuts to get down there quick. still kind of being a brat about things until the elder tells Punipur he's being stubborn and that he needs to lend his strength to Punio to help uh, Mario uh, rid the tree of the x -Nots. Ten Punis have now joined our party. We're looking for the crystal star, we ask the elder. The Elder says, uh, hidden down at the bottom of the tree is a colored stone that she was told to guard from evil, and they've been guarding it for generations. If we get there before the goons do, she'll give us the, uh, crystal star. <coughs> so, before we leave, she also tells us to take the puny orb. It'll help us, it'll help rally the punies. to leave, and he'll tell us one more thing. On the way to the Crystal Star, if we lose any of the punies, just come see, uh, come see the Elder, and she'll bring them all back. If we play our cards correctly, there should be very little reason to need to do that. So we're gonna go over here, we're gonna put the puny orb in this area right here. <clears throat> Alright, we can now go down this pipe. We'll uh, beat up on this, uh, on these x knots here. And for convenience sake, we're going to open this door that goes back to the main chamber of the tree. Alright, we don't need to do that no more. Okay, so, first things first, we need to... Uh, we need to get these punies onto the other side, so we're going to switch out uh, Flurry. And we're going to blow these over the edge here. And we're going to send them this way. Oh, we need to back up a little. <clears throat> okay, they should be on the other side now, so now we'll go down here. Just to take a look at what's over here. Nothing. Ah, there's a Shine Sprite. Very glad we left. And a Thunder Rage. That could actually come in very helpful. Um... I'm gonna knock out this dizzy dial. I don't. Whoops. I don't get a lot of use for those. Should probably start selling these items, or at least checking them. That's what I should do next time. I should check these items. All right, we're gonna head over to that side of the tree where the punies are, and now uh, we're gonna go down a level. Uh, let's see. I think that there's a spider. Yep. So we can. We can dizzy the spider here, and then we can switch out to Goombella for a first turn tattle. <clears throat> and get a first strike while we're at it. Yeah. 
Piter. HP is 5. I'm gonna hit it with a hammer. Whoops. Oh, I didn't want to do that at all. Oh well. Peonies probably fell over. <laughs> That's fine. Um, we're gonna switch back to Flurry and blow this out the way. And we're gonna paper airplane down this way. <coughs> and now we're gonna paper airplane this way. Let's land here and give us this uh, shine sprite. I'm gonna reconnect with these guys because they need to be with us. And we're gonna go over this way. Nope, we're not. <coughs> Let's try and make use of uh, Flurry's Gale Force here and just get rid of these guys. Well, got rid of one. Uh, a honey syrup would be nice, but I have no room for items. There's Miss Puny. <clears throat> Boy, four enemies this time. Let's see if we can get rid of them again with the Gale Force. Just kind of save some time. Oh, we only got rid of one? That's not cool. Body slam. <clears throat> uh, too bad. Let's body slam this one over here for some little extra damage. <laughs> Whoops, wasn't paying attention. Alright, that's some 12 star points. We are two star points away from another level up. <clears throat> so, down another level we go. Hey, there's a Jabby. Jabby's gonna run away. Alright, let's go confront this small Jabby tribe. It's a 10, tri uh, ten person, 10 man Jabby tribe, and we've got 11 punies, so we should, for all intents and purposes, be able to knock these guys out. Yep, absolutely rocked them. That was kind of a little trouble. Alright, now.
now that the jabbies are down, the punies will go in and knock out the jabby fortress. <clears throat> and that creates a room that we can go into, which I believe should be holding our blue key. Uh, well, not quite, but this is an important pattern we'll need to know later. Puny star, moon, shine. What do we got in here? A blue key! Alright. Okay, so we're gonna need to come back here later. Um, it's an item that we need to get down there. Now we got the key, we will immediately suspend operation and head back to the blue prison. Meanwhile, at the prison, <laughs> we find out that uh, Petuni has been holding on to this dried mushroom just to give to Punio because Punio loves mushrooms. Back at the plot. We're gonna get out of this room and we're gonna head back up the tree. Basically, just do some uh, some pack tracking. Go up some levels. <clears throat> ah, we need to leave the pennies here. Actually, you know what? Forget that. I don't need to do that. We can just go over here. Because we need to go through this door anyway. We're not feeling so great, so we're going to take a heal. Got some coins to spare. We're just going to have the... Oh, whoops. We're going to have the, the Elder uh, call all the punies back. Just a quick, easy way to do that. Okay, and now we're going to go back up the tree. Good news is, after we go up the tree to save these punies, um, we're not going to need to go up there anymore. <clears throat> we're just going to keep working our way down the tree. This level. Alright, we're in the jail room. The uh, Punia just says, we're back, we've got the key. Let's unlock the door. And just like that, we have rescued the entire Puny tribe. <coughs> Puny says, I'm fine. She gives, uh, she gives Punio the dried mushroom. Punio tries eating it anyway. <coughs> Save the tribe. Let's, uh. I'm a little late on that sound effect. Let's go all the way back down <clears throat> and raid the next Jabby tribe. Alright, so now we've got a. I wish we could take a quick way down here, but we kind of can't. We've got to, uh. Gotta do this in order, or else the punies are just gonna get lost. <clears throat> Alright, we'll put this bikini orb here, and we'll blow all of them to the other side. Again, gotta do things by the book. Okay, this time we're gonna go over this way. 
We gotta be careful about these. Yep, because that's gonna happen. Whoops. <laughs> okay, that was a little weird. Um, this might take a few attempts. Actually, we can just, um, we can probably make this simpler by just, uh, blowing some of the punies off. And we'll just meet them down at the bottom. Well, maybe, maybe not. Oh, did we lose them all? We've got two left. Okay, that works. Um, so that badge box, I don't think we can grab... Um, no, we can't. <clears throat> we can't grab that badge box until, uh... Oh, actually, this is where the, um... This is where the next hive is, so yeah, I've actually... I'm actually totally wrong, so we're gonna have to... <laughs> uh... This should be a secret store if I'm not wrong. Yep. No. Um, uh, I'm going to store some stuff here. Okay, store 32 items. I'm going to store this, sh this Ultra Shroom because I don't really need it. Um, I'm going to store these in coupons so I can get them later. And that'll do for now. Um, interesting. I could have sworn that there was a little, like a really tiny, like a jabby baby in here. Oh well. I'm sure we'll come across him later. Got to start with a star piece. All right, so this is gonna probably gonna continue to happen a few times until um, <clears throat> we take out these piters. We absolutely have to because the jabbies will just get scared of them and run away. Three of them. Let's see if we can blow them away. Might as well. I've got two star points until uh, I level up, so let's burn a few flower points. There we go. And that's a level up. What are we gonna upgrade now? You guessed it. More badge points. All right. That of course means more badges to equip. What can we turn on? Uh, let's turn on that item hog. See what it does for us. Whoa. All right. <clears throat> Seem to be missing one. Oh, nice. We got a first strike on that. This time we got four here. Let's see if we can blow them all away again. Just to make this easier on everybody. Ah, uh, we got all but one. All right, that's not bad. Whoops! <laughs> Just kind of messed that up. <clears throat> Drop ourselves a save just because. There's the one that went missing. Alright, we are reunited with the entire tribe, and we're gonna go over here and. Whoops! Oh, that was a bad move. Why did I do that? I was trying to see if um, there happened to be <clears throat> any way I can get that block, but I don't think I can right now. Probably have to come back later once I have a spring jump, and uh, that won't be until Chapter 7. Uh, so, really hoping there's nothing important in that box. Alright, 
We're gonna check the. Or we're gonna fight the larger Jabby tribe. Charge! <laughs> just kind of dizzied a lot of them over here. I'm just gonna come back and come up and beat all of them. Absolutely rocked. Jabbies are defeated. Let's go through here. So I don't quite remember if uh, Flurry can body slam these uh, piranhas. That's what we're going to find out. Let's see. Can she? No, she cannot. Okay. Let's not try that again. Everyone wants to throw a rock. Get out. thing down in that pedestal, but I can't do that yet. We don't have the boots. Should be getting the boots right around here. Four pale piranhas. <clears throat> Not in the mood right now, so let's just knock them out with an earth tremor. Should do six damage to each and knock them all out. Yep. <clears throat> okay, and the shoes I believe should be in this room. Uh, well, they are, but only after we put the puny orb in this fake item box here. And get ourselves caught. It's Crump. Crump says that he saw us putting the pedestal, the puny orb on those pedestals, so he created a fake one just to trap us. And now that we're trapped, he says that he can grab the crystal star without us. That's all well and good, but uh, what he doesn't know is that I can get out of here. something. We'll go down here. <clears throat> Alright. Columns are familiar. We're going to hit the switch and turn four of them on. Uh, let's see. Shine, moon, puny, star. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Nothing happened down there, right? Yeah, it definitely wasn't here. Okay, I'm gonna search these bushes real quick. Alright, so the new combination is Shine, Moon, Puny, Star. <clears throat> so we're gonna head all the way back to the room where we saw those columns last time. Basically gonna go for a little walk here. Go 
across here. just sort of peel away to reveal a secret entrance. So we'll head in there. And the big chest, we finally grab ourselves a pair of super boots. <coughs> hey look everybody, it's Toadette. She's telling us that the super boots are gonna increase our damage and, uh, and now we can do a spin jump. To so spin jump, all I gotta do is double tap it. I got it. She also tells us that uh, spin jumps are useful to crash through brick uh, blockades like that. And now we know. <clears throat> okay, now that we've got ourselves a spin jump, let's put it to use on this blockade right here. Missed. There we go. Okay, we're probably gonna come back to this room later, but for now, there is a Shine Sprite over there, and I want it. All right, we got ourselves a Shine Sprite. Check these bushes real quick. Nope. Oh, there is a Charge Badge. We absolutely want that badge. That is a super important badge. And the best thing about it is it only costs one BP to use. So we're going to grab that real quick. We absolutely do not want to leave this here. And we're going to grab Coops and Shell Toss to get that badge. And we're going to turn that on immediately. All right. <clears throat> now that that's done, we're going to head back and we're going to save the punies. We're going to take Flurry back out because we basically just need her. Hmm. Head all the way back over this way. Whoops! Oh, so close. Alright, well, let's drop a save while we're down here. <coughs> this would be so much faster if I had myself a Yoshi. in there and force the rest of the punies to fall down. Fortunately, we can use this pedestal. It's a fake, but we can use it to our advantage. Oh, come on, you guys. Work with me. <coughs> These punies are... Not behaving themselves today. Come on. Get in there. Whoops. Oh, come on, buddy. One more. Well, two more, I think. Wow. Okay. Come on. Get in the hole. There you go. All right. <clears throat> now that we've reunited with the entire puny tribe, Gonna go back out this door here. Ninety-three. 
Why am I missing some punies? What happened? I got stuck behind the, <laughs> the, the cage. Alright. <clears throat> what the heck? Are they getting stuck? Some of these guys are getting stuck and it's weird. Alright, there we go. Okay, we're gonna stick the orb on the station here again. And we're gonna blow them all down this hole. Come on, you guys. Okay. Now that they're all down here, we can take this pipe right here. <coughs> Make our way to the inner sanctum. Alright, we got ourselves a stronger jump, so I'm going to take out this Yux immediately. And I think Flurry can do three on body attacks, so let's hit this guy right here. Oh, no, I was wrong. That was a, that was a bad move. Hey, we got a bingo! <clears throat> Refilled our entire star power. Well, oh, that's gonna hurt. Ow. Now we're finally doing two, two, uh, two points of damage. I hit. All right. Here, he's trying to attack us. Huh. <laughs> Could have sworn I was right on top of him. Alright, there are four yuxes here. I'm gonna just try and blow them all away, or else this is gonna get really bad real quick. Alright, cool. Pushes. Probably nothing in them. <coughs> okay. So, we need to go this one here. Alright, so there is a, um... There is a Shine Sprite there. We cannot reach the Shine Sprite yet. That's okay. We'll reach it soon. We're going to come over here. We're going to fill up this pipe. <clears throat> We're going to take out Coops for a sec. Jump on here. We're going to Shell Toss Hold. And wham. We'll drop all the water in here. Those lily pads are now conveniently located right under that shine sprite. Go down here. There should be a item box right here. Shrink stomp. <clears throat> All right. We're gonna try and get this. Yep, got that shine sprite. Uh, why did I go up that? That's the wrong button. Let's not do that. <clears throat> let's not go up the pipe, let's go down this one. Alright. This, uh... This pedestal right here calls for 101 punies. Whoops. This will bring us down further into the tree. The item box is a good indication that something bad is about to happen. Or the uh, the heart box will reveal. 
and then we're gonna save. <coughs> Ooh, a uh, mushroom, that's helpful. Alright. Into the inner sanctum we go. Crump has made his way in. <coughs> Here's somebody's coming, so he's gonna he's gonna bolt. We're gonna come in and we're gonna drop the puny orb right in the center here. <coughs> and the emerald star appears from the chalice. And there it is. And Crump grabs it. Crump takes a second to taunt us. Doesn't know how we got out of the cell. <clears throat> but he's got a backup plan. And he activates the detonator. Now we have 300 seconds to completely bolt out of here. Alright, let's take that. And I'm gonna switch out, um, I'm gonna switch out for Gabella immediately. <clears throat> We're gonna get bum rushed by these Xnauts. That's okay, we're gonna take them out basically immediately though. And we're gonna make our way up. And up again. <coughs> and up again. And we don't, I don't really think we need to save the punies here, but I, I don't know, I'm just gonna do it anyway. Several, 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 several seconds left. And we'll open this door, and we're back at the entrance to the tree. <coughs> save, why not? run into Crump being uh, blocked by the Elder. <laughs> elder power activate. Oh. Back sacking up. Oh, I forgot to pull out, uh, I forgot to pull out Goombella. Alright, he stops the timer. One pummeling with extra fists, and Crump summons Magnus Von Grapple. <clears throat> All right, we're in a good position. Okay, we immediately need to take out Goombella so we can tattle. <coughs> Alright, it's got an HP. Hang us on punish. HP of 30. So, let's, uh,. Let's make use of our charge here. We're gonna try and uh, we're gonna charge that a few times while 
We have Kumbella to a Multibonk. Well. <coughs> Ow. We'll have Mario charge one more time. Why not? <coughs> Whoops! Oh, that was really bad. <laughs> Alright, and we'll have Mario do a power bounce here. He's already down to 8 damage. Let's see if we can... No, no, let's not. We can... Alright, he's going to put out these fists here, <clears throat> which do have bars. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Ah, uh, that's alright. No big deal. Just given that he has six damage left, let's Earth Tremor get rid of everything here. Magnus Von Grapple Fight. We'll be taking that. <coughs> always one. Alright, we've successfully driven all the X-Knots out of the tree, and the, el the, uh, the Elder says that we can have the Emerald Star. We moved Clock Out, or learned Clock Out. End of chapter! After the pummeling, after pummeling Lord Crump, we obtain the star. The Exonauts are gone. Peace is in the great tree. There is the, the woods echoed of joy. This is definitely not the last we've heard of the Exonauts. Alrighty. I'd say that about does it for now. We've uh, taken this entire video to work ourselves through the great tree. So come back next time. We're going we're gonna to tackle uh, the prologue to Chapter 3. And Chapter 3 is going to be a good one. I uh, This is probably one of my favorite parts of the game. Chapter 3 and Chapter 6 are absolutely the, my favorite parts of this game. So, come back next time. In the meantime, check out the other videos on the YouTube, uh, on the Grand Star Legion YouTube channel. And check out the YouTube Rangers forums. And check me out at TechnoGeek and Chaos Control channel on Twitch. And until next time, I've been CEO 1019 and we'll see you next video.